ethics recap then. Remember, really, the best way to study this is by doing questions. But let's just recap the knowledge. And the fundamental principles are integrity, being straightforward and honest, objectivity, no bias, no conflicts of interest in your work, always being having professional competence and due care by keeping up your skills, always working hard on things. Be confidential, don't disclose that authority or if you're legally obliged to give away some information. And always have professional behaviour, complying with laws and regulations and not discrediting the profession. So there's going to be threats to those principles that we need to be aware of. Self-interest, self-review, advocacy, talking on behalf of somebody else, familiarity, being an engagement partner or whatever for too long, intimidation, they're threatening to take the job off you. All those sorts of things are threats. And then we have to come up with safeguards then to safeguard ourselves against those threats. And if you're the firm itself, then the sort of safeguards is train everybody in ethics, have really good quality control procedures, always have consultation maybe with an ethics partner, change the engagement and audit partner frequently, and have internal codes of ethical conduct. So they're the sorts of things for the firm. Then you can also do it for the profession. What do the profession do? Well, disciplinary action for those who've acted uh, without ethics, unethically. Recommend you practice all the time. Keep on top of things because ethics can change as technologies change and things. Audit committee, having one of those is a good example because of their, their independence of saying ethical. Uh, doing exams, doing your CPD, making sure you do that making sure we, we stay up to date and that we're aware of all the best current uh, corporate governance currently. Then the things you can do as an individual, keep up to date with your CPD, consult with other fellow professionals, have independent mentors, but always show professional scepticism, which is having an inquiring mind, looking for indicators of material misstatement, looking when somebody tells you something, is there corroboratory evidence for this? Are the assumptions they're making reasonable? Challenge everything that you're told, particularly by management. So doing a question, how do we do it? We identify those threats and then we say, right, are they significant? When we talk about significant, obviously significant amounts, the amount of money there is, the subjectivity around it, the higher, the more significant it is, and the seniority of the people involved the higher, the more significant it is. Then we try to reduce those threats to an acceptable level and we write down all the possible safeguards and then we'll conclude on their effectiveness.